Hi, this is Jeff with iPhone Download Blog. Now let's talk about searching the contents of your iPhone. To search the contents of your iPhone, Apple has implemented Spotlight, which is a search tool that you can access by swiping to the left of your first home screen. So if you notice here at the bottom the three dots, one of those dots is shaped like a, a magnifying glass. And then you have the other two dots. Well, if you swipe over, you'll go to the magnifying glass, which is Spotlight Search. And then you'll see a keyboard come up. And there you can type in pretty much anything and it'll search the contents of your iPhone. So f for testing purposes, let's, let me type a name of a song that I want to listen to. Let's see, four, three, well, that popped right up. Four, three, oops, two, one, okay. So there's a song I want to listen to. So I can just type in the name of a song. I can type in the name of a website. I can type in the name of a mess, uh, the contents of a text message, the contents of an email, pretty much whatever, and it'll find it on my iPhone. So you can also launch whatever application directly from Spotlight. So just tap that, and it'll start playing immediately. Now, like I said, you can also launch apps from this as well. So, for instance, if I want to launch, let's see, YouTube, I can just type YouTube. And then you'll see YouTube pop up, and I'll just tap the button. Okay. So that's pretty much how you use Spotlight. Now, there are some advanced options. If you go to your Settings app, and you go to the General section, you'll see a section for a Spotlight Search. Now what this does is allows you to rearrange the search priority of your searches in Spotlight. And also allows you to enable and disable certain applications. So if you don't want any of your mail to come up during a search, you can just tap that to disable. Um, and again, if you want to rearrange that priority of your searches, for instance, you want all mail to come up first, you just drag and move mail higher up the priority list. Of course, you would have to re-enable it as well. So this is basically how you use Spotlight Search. It's very similar to the Spotlight on Mac OS X and the Windows Search if you're a Windows user. Again, this is Jeff with the iPhone Download Blog.